Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to the strangers scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, elect according to the foreknowledge of God the Father, through sanctification of the Spirit, unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ, grace unto you, and peace be multiplied. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled, and that fadeth not away, reserved in heaven for you, who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. Wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations, that the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. Whom, having not seen, ye love, in whom, though now ye see him not, and believing, ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls. Hello everyone and welcome to Cloud9 Blessings. This is Amber and I hope that you are all having a very beautiful and blessed day. Thank you all so much for joining me here on the channel. The rapture dream which I'm about to share with you today was emailed in by our dear sister in Christ, Teresa. And in her email it says, This dream was from a couple years ago and it is one of many that God has shown me. It was a normal and nice day outside. My sister and I were having a walk when all of a sudden we heard a loud noise and as we looked up into the sky, there were meteorites or something similar. They appeared to look like giant balls of fire. They were falling from the sky everywhere and making a loud explosion sound. There were too many to count. People were screaming and running. There was so much chaos. It appeared to be total destruction happening all over our town. There was smoke even in the air, everywhere. People were horrified and scared. All of a sudden, a lady came beside me and she was such a caring lady. Something very special about her. I believe she was an angel. She put her arm around me and said to go to the train station and wait on the platform, that there is not much time. The train will be coming soon. My sister and I then ran to the train depot. I guess that is what you call it. We ran up the wooden steps and stood on a wooden platform. About maybe a hundred people were also there waiting for the train. We were warned by the angel to wait there and be ready because the train was almost there. The platform was high and was surrounded with a wooden balcony. I remember leaning over the balcony and this makes me still cry and I was seeing such a horrible sight, total chaos, crying and screaming and people running. In my dream, I knew it was happening all over the world. As I looked down on what used to be our town, my heart was so saddened. I never knew how much I loved my country until I saw it destroyed. My sister then told me, I forgot something. I'm going to run and get it. I'll be right back. I told her, no, don't go. We were told to stay here. She assured me that there is still plenty of time and that she would be right back. I pleaded with her, please, please do not go. But she ran down the steps. As soon as she got down the steps, a long, sleek and beautiful white train pulled up. The doors opened and we all got on board.
The train then pulled away. As the train was pulling away, I knew total destruction was happening on Earth, and my sister was left behind. I suddenly woke up in bed, the stream still vivid on my mind. Then Jesus spoke to me and said, Be ready for my return. Do not be like the five foolish virgins who were not prepared to meet the bridegroom. They had no oil in their lamps, and they thought when they had seen him coming, they would quickly prepare. This dream symbolizes the soon return of Jesus Christ. He is coming for his bride. It will look like a normal day. Many people are thinking that they will run and get saved when it looks like the time is near. There will not be any time. We will be taken in the twinkling of an eye, as the Bible says. My sister has never said she was a Christian. The dream reminded me of when she knew the train, which is symbolic of Jesus' coming, was soon coming, and she left the platform to go get something that she needed, perhaps salvation. It seems like the five foolish virgins who were not prepared and was going to get oil for their lamps when they had seen him coming. It was too late. We have to be ready. I feel that this dream was meant to be shared. I tried to put it on YouTube, but it really seemed like I couldn't record it right. I pray that you can get it out there. I have seen some of your videos that you do for the dreams, and I think they are wonderful, and I feel so blessed to have found you. I am hoping that you can bring this dream to life and will reach those who are not prepared. Thank you so much, Teresa, for sharing this rapture dream with the channel. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, their lamps, and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise, and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps, and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose, and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there be not enough for us and you. But go ye rather to them that sell, and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. Afterward came also the other virgin, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, I know you not. Watch therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. <laughs>